What's up, Flow Combaters? Here in Albuquerque on day one of the Flow Combat road trip, and graced by the presence of none other than the man. Grace. So, Grace, yeah. Lando Venata. So, man, the uh, the name Groovy, like, I look at this. Look at these pants, mm. the gloves. Everything, ab it, everything <laughs> about you. What would you say? What's the most, what's the most groovy, what's the grooviest thing that folks don't know? Oh, where do I begin? That's what I'm saying. I, that's, I want to know. Is that everything I see about you is like groovy. Groovy as hell. I don't know. Y'all don't know my personality. Deep down, you don't know who I am. <laughs> you see what's on the surface right now? Well, it gets groovier the deeper you go. <laughs> see, I said that in like the last article I did, I said the smooth and chaotic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of layers there. I think, yeah. and I think that's what people are excited to know about. You. I think they see like the the chill guy, but there's depth here, brother. Yeah. Gotta yeah. keep them guessing for a little bit. Can't give it all away at once. That's right. That's right. Well, you got them all hooked when you uh, laid Macdessy out with that 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 kick. How many times do you think you drilled that? Mm, easily a thousand plus mm -hmm. before that fight. You know, we were ripping in the in the locker room backstage. We were ripping in the night before. Uh, the, the workout all week. You know, every single day leading up to that fight, I was ripping that kick. And I would say it's probably a year ago. I was here, and uh, and you were you were still waiting. You were that guy that everybody said, "Hey, man, when this guy gets on, it's going to be something special." But you were still waiting to get on. A year a year in now, you've had two great fights, one one big win. Uh, you're lined up for your third, and now how how is life changing that year? I mean, everything's the same. I just don't got to worry about my bills. I got a car now. I can uh, I can do the things I want to do, man. I can go I can go play in the mountains, and I can go snowboarding. I can go jump out of planes and and accessorize my truck to go on adventures. And uh, you know, that's nice. I can do the things I've always wanted to do that cost money. But in day to day life, everything's the same, man. I wake up, I meditate, I eat food, I come to train. Mm -hmm. I take a nap in the afternoon. I'm, I'm not materialistic. I don't get a whole bunch of fancy shit besides these pants. <laughs> And uh, you know, most of the clothes I wear are still the stuff I got for free. It's uh, and yeah, not, not much has changed really. See, and I think that's where we, we vibe. You know, I, I'm yeah. a simplistic, I'm a simplicity guy. It's all about the, the journey and the search, right? Yeah, exactly. Because that's where you more get more than what's on the surface, man. Exactly, and that's because those experiences are the rich experiences. That's what the knowledge is. What you get, that's what you can take with you, not the financial like shit. Like I said, the journey is the reward. Absolutely, man. Let's talk about the next step of your journey. Then you got a, you got a fight coming up here, mm -hmm. uh, a couple weeks out, right? Uh, yeah, a little, little less than three weeks. You looking smooth here? At what, good. what we just saw. So, you know, what are your thoughts on this guy? Uh, man, Tamer is. Uh, unless he changed his whole style in between his uh, last 87 fights and this one, he's uh, he's basic. He's predictable. I'll make him do what I want him to do. Um, he gets dropped by guys who don't have power. He's chinny. Uh, I don't ever go out there searching for the knockout. I just let everything flow, but I'm confident that it will come in this fight. Now, we touched on a little bit in the article, and because and, and I, I can see it in the way you move, but Cub Swanson, let's talk about Cubby, right? Mm -hmm. Cub's been a huge influence on you, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, how long, like, where did that start, and like, what, what was your connection with him? I was, uh, I started like five years ago, man. He was, like, he was the first person I ever uh, in Mace Bar here, and he just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> you know, and, and over, the, over the months that I first got here, he started showing me more, became closer, became better friends. He uh, really instilled the creativity. After every practice, he'd be like, hey, Landon, come here, hold this pad for me, man. I want to I work this. Check this out. What do you think of this? Um, and it really instilled that, that creativity, like, don't just stick to the basic shit. Let's, let's build. Let's, let's create a little bit. And, um, you know, it's, the, the bond's just grown stronger and stronger over the years. We've become great training partners. We, we push each other. Every, every time he's in town, every time I'm in Paul Springs, we push each other to get each other better. Uh, and afterwards, we sit down just like we always have and, and see, what, see what else works, see what else we can create. And now I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be with Cub here. This road trip goes right through Palm Springs because on this trip, that's what this is about. This is a journey to figure out, to show the sides of your guys' life, take a deeper look into what goes into all of this. So, uh, if you have a message that I can give him here in the next, you know, uh, four days, I'm sure you'll talk to him on the phone. But what, what do you want to let Cub know? Hi, Cub. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> But so, what do you think? Let me let's flip, let's flip the script. What do you think about when you see, like, say, what I'm doing? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. take, taking the effort to drive all over the place to go do these for these deeper stories. I mean, I that's not what the average MMA guy does. You know? Oh, sorry, man. 
But that's that's that journey though, right? Yeah, I like the road trip style, man. Yeah, that's a great idea. And we got the snowboard packed, and uh, maybe we hit a little something. Maybe we jump out of a fucking plane. Oh, we just, we just got a, we got a little bit of snow just yesterday. Right Brought here. it with me. There you go. <laughs> I'm under contract. I can't go snowboarding right now. You heard that UFC? But as soon as he gets this knockout victory, oh, that's the first thing I'm doing. Yeah, maybe we we'll join you up. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Man. Thank you, man. Check back full commenters for day two coming tomorrow. Jeez. Let me, know, let me know when you're ready. Oh, you're saying my desk? Let it fly.